Cole Urbis coming out for Penn at 197, squaring off against Luke Stout. And this was another one of those matches, Joey, that you pointed to ahead of our broadcast and said this one has a chance to be pretty good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this match. Um, these wrestlers have faced each other a few times through their collegiate careers. Um, both of them took a trip to the NCAA tournament last year. They wrestled earlier this season at the Midlands, um, where Stout was a victor by fall, actually. Um, but, you know, Cole Urbis is great. He's great on, in the top position, and any time he can get on top, he's a force for anybody he wrestles. Um, Looks like Stout tries to get to work real quick here. There's a quick two. Stout shot out of a cannon to begin this one. Stout, a qualifier at 197, second team all Ivy League. Sophomore from Mount Lebanon, PA. And he's been a strong addition to this lineup for Princeton. Got two good one ninety good size one ninety seven pounders here. Cole is on the taller side, of course, but Stout looks every bit of 197. Definitely showing some of his strength this bout. Yeah, you mentioned Stout showing lots of people in the EIWA and the Ivy League. He's a bad man at 197. Urban's able to get away, cut the lead in half. Urbis doing a nice job there on takedown defense. Trying to find a shot of his own. There's another two for Stout. Princeton coaches are signaling the Stout to let him up here. So they're looking for bonus points in this bout, as you can tell, just by the way that Stout's wrestling. How long does it take when you're watching a match to decide, all right, this guy has it tonight, and it's time to start looking for those bonus points? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of times. I mean, you got to know your wrestlers, but, um, you know, you can kind of see the trajectory of the match. Body language is a big telltale sign, something that coaches are looking at. And, you know, as a wrestler, you should be trying to look at as well. You know, that's when guys will say they smell blood. You know, you can, set, you can sense it in your opponent just by their demeanor, their, la their body language, and how they're fighting uh, certain holds. So we got a six to two lead here for Stout with riding time locked. And you know, like you're saying, this is one of those matches, whenever you can come out of the first period with you know, four to six point, maybe more deficit on a guy, you know, you know you're looking at bonus point territory. 22 seconds left still here. Stout looking for instruction from his bench. Urbis might be in trouble here. Got a stalling call on the bottom on Urbis here as Stout looks like he's really going to work on top. Four, three, two, one. Dominating ah. first period performance by Stout. We'll see what Urbis has to answer in period number two. How about there's, this? There's Urbis. not many guys that do that. There's not many guys that choose top in college wrestling, but Cole Urbis is one of them. I mean, really good at being on top. Also having to cut into 207 of ride time there for Stout. But I agree with you, Joey. That's a bold selection. Yeah, I mean. Look out. Reversal. Back points being applied. Looking for the fall. Stout turning him over. Urbis fighting for his life. Urbis battling. Got him. Yeah. 
Stout, the winner by fall. And a dominating performance. Looked like it was Stout's day. Tough break for Urbis. And that will tie it up as the team score going into the break. Nine to nine bonus points will tie up the match. Three victories for the Penn Quakers.